Hi, it's Bob Bixley here. I know I look a lot like Mr. Ashley, but it's not me. Anyway, I got some breaking news for you. We have some information from Jones Dairy that there's a, a search for Pete the Cat. And we we have some reporters out there. We're looking forward to hearing from them and hearing if, if they've actually found Pete the Cat. So, uh, wait, wait, yeah, uh, Miss, okay. Miss DuPont is ready on the scene. Uh, I think she's got a story and then she's got a clue about uh, where Pete the Cat might be. Let's go see. Miss DuPont? Good morning, kindergartners. I am Mrs. DuPont, and I am your school librarian this year. I cannot wait to meet all of you when we return to school, and I hope you enjoy the lessons we have scheduled for our remote learning. What I want to do today is to start off reading to you Pete the Cat rocking in my school shoes. And I have Pete right here with us. So I hope you enjoy the school day and I am so excited for you to start on a little scavenger hunt. So Pete the Cat rocking in my school shoes by Eric Litwin. Here comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school and he sings his song. And if you know this song, you can sing with me. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Looks like Pete's excited to go to school. Pete is sitting in his desk when his teacher says, come on Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? Do you know what room has books on every wall? Is it the library? Pete's never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He finds his favorite book and he sings his song. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. Check out Pete. He's ready to eat in a big noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete? The lunch room. It can be loud and busy in the lunch room. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He sits down with his friends and he sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. Pete and his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. All day long, Pete sings his song. I'm singing in my school shoes. I'm painting in my school shoes. I'm adding in my school shoes. I'm writing in my school shoes. Pete's had a busy day, hasn't he? And when school's over, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks, what'd you do at school today? And Pete says, what do you think? I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. And I will do it again tomorrow. Because as Pete says, it's all good. So Pete loves school and we hope that you love school too. I have a very special note from you. Would you like me to read it guys? It's from Pete. It says, Dear girls and boys, I'm so glad you read my book. It can be scary to go someplace new for the first time, but the best thing to do is to put on your school shoes and just start walking because it's all good. I'm checking out your cool school right now. 
I put on my singing shoes and I went to visit the music teacher first because I love music. Maybe I'll see you there. Love, Pete the cat. So boys and girls, where's your next stop? Somewhere they sing in the music teacher. Let's go check out the music room. Boys and girls, I hear some music. We must be getting close. And here we are. Are you guys all the kindergartners that I'm supposed to find that clue? Yes. Uh, all right, so this is the music room, and we got risers, and we got board, and we got everything in town music. I think, I'm trying to remember where that clue was. I think, I think it was over here someplace. I, I saw this pin, this pink that cat came running by, and I, I'm not sure where the clue is. Any idea? Let's see, that's the mission statement, isn't it? That's my name, that's not it. That's the Sunshine Club, that's a paw. I wonder where that clue would be. Wait, what? It's, it's behind me? Oh, no, it's, no it's not. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay, let me, let me, let me see if I can read this. Says, Yay, you found the music room and so did I. You'll do a lot of singing and dancing in this room. I didn't see you here. But did I worry? Goodness, no. There's still so much to see. I'm putting on my eating shoes and went to visit the lunchroom. Maybe I'll see you there. Love, Pete the horse. No, Pete the cat. Pete the cat. All right. So, uh, lunchroom. Let's see where. Let's figure out where the lunchroom is. Come on. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Pennington and I'm your PE teacher and guess what we found? We found the lunch room. Are we going to play in the lunch room? Oh goodness, no. We are going to eat in the lunch room and we can't wait for you guys to come back to use the lunch room. If you see, Pete left us a clue. He says, great job, you found the lunch room. They make super yummy food here. Make sure to always be polite and say please and thank you to these nice ladies. I still didn't see you, but did I worry? Goodness, no. I put on my walking shoes, and I do have on my walking shoes, boys and girls, and went to look at your gym. Maybe I'll see you there. Love, Pete the Cat. So, let's go see where the gym is. Guys, you found the gym. I'm Mrs. Painton, your PE teacher, and just like Pete, I always have on my school shoes because I'm ready for PE. And when it's your turn to do PE, then you make sure that you have your school shoes on and ready. I can't wait until we're back at school and you can come and have fun in the gym with me. Now, I think Pete left us a clue. Do you see the clue? I don't see a clue anywhere. Let's walk and see if we see the clue. Oh, I see a clue. Wow, you found the gym. You are fast. The gym is going to be super fun. The teacher said you weren't here either, but did I worry? Goodness, no. I went to find the office and the nurse. It's good to know where to go when you'll need a band-aid. Maybe I'll see you there. Love, Pete. So, let's go find the office. Bob Bixley here, and I'm back again to give you a little update on where we are in our search for Pete the Cat. We've been through the music room and the cafeteria and the gym, and we're on our way to the office, but no sign of Pete, just these clues. I wonder how many clues he's going to leave. Maybe Mr. Save would know something about it at the office. Let's check with him. Hi, I'm Mr. Save, assistant principal. Um, this is the office. This, in this room is where our secretary, principal, and other office administration work. It's also where the nurse's office is. She helps people who get hurt or don't feel well. Everyone in here is super nice. But I still didn't see you though. But did I worry? Goodness, no. I put on my painting shoes and I went to find the art room. Good 
day, boys and girls. Are you the kindergarten class? Well, awesome. Well, welcome to the art room. I'm Mrs. Thompson. And in here we're going to paint and draw and use clay and paper and learn how to use scissors properly. It's amazing all the things that we can do in here. What are you doing here? Looking for a clue. A clue? A clue for what? From Pete the Cat. Pete. Well, I didn't see him in here, but, huh, I wonder where he could have left my clue. Where does he usually leave the clues, boys and girls? Well, well they've been on the door before, I think. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh. You put on my handy dandy glasses. You found the art room. I painted a little bit for you, but did you find me? Don't worry if you didn't, goodness, no. I put on my reading shoes and walked to the library to see if they have any Pete the Cat books. In the library, you have to be super quiet, so put on your reading shoes and tiptoe to the library. Maybe I'll see you there. Love Pete the Cat. Well, that was so nice of him to clean up after himself. I didn't even know he was in my room. I guess we're off to the library, boys and girls. Hi, it's Bob Bixley here, and uh, just an update on our search for Pete the Cat. Well, it's not been going very well. We can't seem to find him. He just seems to stay one step ahead of us. He keeps leaving these clues in different places, but eventually I think we're going to find our way at least to uh, the kindergarten rooms where you guys will be, you know, working with your teachers on, on learning everything you're going to learn this year. But uh, let, wait, oh, okay. Um, let's get back and hear what our reporters have to say and if there's any more clues. Back to you at Jones Dairy. So we're looking for Pete the Cat. Do you know where he might be? Oh, wow. So at the door. That's over this way. See if this looks like Pete's note. That looks like a crocodile. No, 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 not that, Mr. Oh. Rashley. Right here. Oh, Shoot. yeah, there it is. Hi, boys and girls. You have found the library, and you were super duper quiet in here. Way to go. Wonderful job. You weren't here either, but did I worry? Goodness, no. Do you know where to find toilets and sinks? Let's put on our safety shoes and go. Maybe I'll see you there. Love, Pete the Cat. Where do you find sinks and toilets, boys and girls? Is it the bathroom? Yes, let's come check out the bathroom. Hey, we were looking for Pete the Cat. He, he said something about a, a bathroom or something. Do you Have you seen him? Hey, this is Michelle Ferris. I work in the office. Jones Dairy is awesome. You are some lucky kids. I didn't see you here either, but did I worry? <laughs> Goodness, no. I headed to your classroom to see where you work and play. I put on my learning shoes and headed your way. Maybe I'll see you there. Love, Pete the Cat. Hey guys, we know we can't see you right now, but we can't wait until you can come back to James Deary and we can see you again. We miss you. Have a good day.